Guess we're back. Guess where we are today. It is, of course, Great Yarmouth. And we're on the market. And we're here to see the fair. We've also got this rather fancy little building here. Which is obviously some sort of food store. Probably slushies. So, what have we got? Let's uh, have a look around. I'll just ring you when I'm ready. Let's see what's on the ground. It's a bit breezy. I apologise about the wind noise. We'll have a look around and see what we've got. So, to start with, we've got Juvenile Corner. We've got some little jets there for the children. Juvenile roundabout here. The youngsters and heroes and villains. We saw this at Norwich last week. Playing some music that I'm probably going to get whinged out on YouTube for. Oh no, it's raining. Ah. So everything was sent. <laughs> Just as I start the video, it starts raining. Oh, 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 jump on. It's the crazy fun house. Yeah, we've got a crazy fun house. We've also got some sweets. And what we got hiding around here? We've got bungees. That's all that's around that corner. We'll come back this way. What have we got this way? Bumper cars with a Z. We've got a rifle range with an octopus. breezy here in Yarmouth this afternoon but yeah this is kind of juvenile corner that we've got here for the children so if you bring your little ones along there's plenty for them to ride on average ride price is around three quid certainly gone up since I was a kid they used to be 20p when I was little so we've got a bit of a gap as you can see we've got this new Yar Yarmouth market building which never used to be here this has only been here recently We'll go this way because there's some stuff this way. Um, and I'm, it's taken up a huge chunk of the marketplace, so the showmen can't actually put their their rides all on here anymore. They have to sort of spread out a bit. Looks like there's not little seagull footprints in the concrete. Um, yeah, there's lots of seagulls here. We've got a food stall here selling sweet things, burgers and hot dogs. And some roast pork, if you fancy some German sausage, there's some here. So yeah, all this market is kind of new. This was here last year, but it wasn't finished. So we've got a game stall here. It's one of those ones where you pick a bag, I think. Uh, another game stall. One of the ones where you need a winning number. Cook a duck. More bungees, lots of bungees. You usually see on average two sets of these at most large fairs. By the way, this fair is bigger than the Norwich one. If you missed the Norwich one, which was on last week, come down to this one. It's only 24 miles away, so uh, easy to get here on the bus, train, drive. We got uh, Robert Edwards Juvenile roundabout here. Mini Waltzer for the children. The fair has only just opened, I think Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think it opens midday. And I think the last day is Monday. So it's not, it's open a day shorter than the Norwich one, but if you can get down here, please do. I know there's a storm on the way, but come down, have some fun. There's also a play centre there, runaway train for the kids. This usually comes to Norwich, but it didn't this year. But it is here. Um, it's £3 for children and £2 for adults. I don't know why children are more expensive. I don't understand that. Um, you've got water balls there. You've got a penalty shootout here. If you fancy winning some prizes. Thank you. What we got hiding around the back here? We've got a crane machine there. It's a shootout the star to win game. Shooting stars. I've never seen this before. Huh. That's a new one. Unless I've just never noticed it before. <laughs> uh, what have we got in here? There's uh, an inflatable here, but I think it's too windy to have that up today. There's another play centre or fun house there. And look what we've got here. We've got a little train ride for kiddies, and we've got this. It's a jelly tube. 
I've just noticed all the celebrities in the barrels on the top. This belongs to Mark Harris. Um, it says Harris. They even have their own bins to so put your litter in before you go in the barrel. Um, but yeah, Jolly Tube's not a ride you see on the fair now. But uh, there is one there. We've got a wing toss. I've had a go on that and I didn't win anything. I was very disappointed. Um, more water balls. There's two sets of them. Now look at this. Now this is my kind of ride. I always get excited when I see old things. This is a Savage's Gallopers. It does say Savage on there, but it also says it on the engine as well. Kings Lynn. So my great great grandfather, he used to carve these in a factory in Norwich. I can't remember what the factory was called, but um, all this decorative woodwork, he used to carve it. So I often look at them and think, did my granddad do that one? I don't know, but anyway. There's some teacups here, but they've not been uncovered yet, because I say the fair's only just opened. They opened midday, I think it's just past that now. But this is lovely, I will go on that later and do a on ride of that. I did last year, I can't resist it. A little fire rescue thing that we saw in the thumbnail, the last wander around. That's here. I think that belongs to Wyatt. The Yeti is not operating yet, but it soon will be, I'm sure. Belongs to Theodore Wyatt as well. Jump and Smile, Frog Hopper, whatever you want to call it. There's a sweet stall here, but that's not open yet. That probably will in a minute. As I say, when the fair opens, it kind of opens gradually after a certain time. Um, we've also got a extreme here as well. I think that's Parrish's one. I think. I'll have a look at that in a minute. We've got a huge mirror maze here. We often see this travel with Larry Gray. There's a lovely dog here as well. Isn't he sweet? We've got a Disney cottage or crazy cottage. Again, I've seen this travel with Larry Gray. There's another game stall there that hasn't quite opened yet. There's some more games here, Jungle Fever games. That was in Norwich last week. Hook a Duck, another Hook a Duck. As I say, it's all sort of games and bits and pieces around here. There's a jumping trampoline thing there. Oh, we've got a waltzer. Whose is this? I think it's Stock's one, isn't it? Looks like it, it is. Stock's waltzer. This is a leaking machine. Lovely machine it is too. Let's go around this way, we missed a few things. This was in Norwich last week. This was opposite the Tagada. It's nice to see it here. And this is what we wanted to see. This is, uh, I think this is Barish's. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the comments. But One of the best, apparently. I can't ride these, they're just too much for me. We'll definitely get some off ride of that later. We just need people to go on it. There's the gallopers there. And uh, there's a couple of these boxing machines as well if you want to knock one of them out. Another one there. This road has been closed off so you can't just walk in the road. Oh dear. It's not good, is it? <laughs> Honestly, if that was my car, that would fail an MOT. Um, Unfortunately, when it rains, often there's parts of things that collect water and that's when you get problems like that. Uh, but yeah, rides do still have to have MOTs, but not like cars. But that won't, that won't be dangerous, that's just a, a sort of what I would call a cosmetic thing. But yeah, this is Stock's number one waltzer, made by Lakin. Nice machine, we'll get some off-ride of that later when it's got punters on it. There's another waltzer over here, this is Wyatt's. Wow, the bass on that is so loud. When we were on our speedway, we never used to play anything like that. We always used to play like 50s music. But, yeah. We saw this in Norwich. This is the bumper boats. Good to see they're here. More, um, more hook a duck. There's another stall there that hasn't opened yet. Oh, this is here. This was at Norwich, wasn't it? This donut and coffee thing. Yeah, Wyatt's Waltzer. Another Lake in Waltzer. It's not very often you see two Lake in Waltzers so close to each other. Only in Yarmouth. 
Ay, igual es que es hoy. past these rides I was like oh we're here but one thing I did notice there's no booster here this year the booster used to be here last year but it's not here now so Perrin Print has not bought his booster oh lights are changing quick across the road across the road oh my god the wind I was this crowd of people crossing <sighs> Van here. Good place to have one. As I say, I do apologise about the wind. It is very breezy here in Yarmouth. We've got security, we've got ambulance, everything you could possibly want and need. Instead of a booster, we have a cage. And I have no idea whose this is. Anybody know? don't know whose this is. Um, what make is it? I think it's a Hubert's one. It's not that one that was in Chroma, is it? Is it the one that was at Chroma? I don't know, I'll have to check. I don't know, it's a Hubert's one, I think, but I don't know whose it is. Food. Bungees, more bungees, that's the third set. Robert Edwards held a scout a third fair, we've seen that at now. <laughs> We often see that. We'll see that at least three more times this year. Perrin Prince KMG freakout. So we've got two freakouts here. Um, this isn't on at the minute, but it soon will be. As you can see, looks good. Charles Appleton's High Energy Miami. So we've got two Miami. We've got two scissors. There's another scissor down here. Jonathan Gray's Dodgems, of course. And one set of Dodgems. Apparently they used to be two here. Ooh, head on. Now, oh. heard that. Blazing maze. Another mirror maze. As I say, it's really quiet at the minute because um, it's only just open. Good excuse to come down here. There's no daft riding behind there. Convoy, there's some little 4x4 kiddie cars there. Another penalty shootout. Now, this is, look, I, I say, I don't know who has this one. This is a Mark III, isn't it? Um, this was here last year, and last year I didn't know who it belonged to either. I think somebody told me, and I didn't recognise the name. So yeah, I don't know whose it is, but I will look it up when I get home. Nice looking machine. I didn't have time to do it last year, because I came on the train. I came on the bus this time, so yeah. Joel von Stagger. Looking good. Nice machine. 
bouncy bouncy this was in Yarmouth Yarmouth this was in Norwich last week it's in Yarmouth this week and we've got Sheridan Wesley's King Loops looking absolutely stunning as usual very rare ride the only one in the UK Fabry Shake looking good as I say it's not switched on yet it's all quiet down this corner oh yeah an extreme ride by the way. If you are an adrenaline junkie then you will love this corner here. Right well that's it, that's the tour. I hope you enjoyed that and um, what we'll do now is we'll uh, end this video and we'll do some on-ride and off-ride footage of what's here so you can see what's here and get yourselves down here and enjoy the fair. That's basically what's here. It's quite big, there's more here than there was at Norwich. Sure. Anyway, that's it, that's me. And what we'll do now is we'll uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget we've got loads more videos in this playlist. If you want to see what else is here, what little stars and so on. It's all very cool, very exciting. So I'll see you in the next video.